Hi, my name's Michael and I'm the creator of QuestMap Pro. QuestMap Pro is built in response to over six years of feedback to my QuestMap and navigation system. It's a system that was built from the ground up for Unreal Engine 5 with a completely new methodology and designed to ensure that all the shortcomings and weaknesses of that previous system were addressed. So jumping into the demo level here, you can see we have a number of elements on the screen already. Let's begin with the world map. World map shows quest locations, waypoints, locations like landmarks and points of interest, which we're not near any at the moment, but we will be soon. And you can do all your normal things like zoom, pan, and so on. Now with regards to waypoints, it's set up to use multiple waypoints. So in this demo you can have three, and as you place one, the oldest one will be removed. You can switch between them though at any point, and you can also remove them. Likewise, you can also set landmarks as waypoints, and there's a system in place for sticky waypoints, so that if you try and place a waypoint near it, it will use the landmark. The distance that is enabled for can be configured and is set up to be very large in the demo just to demonstrate the feature. If I jump out of here and we activate a waypoint you'll see that we have a navigation trail. Now this will lead the player towards the currently tagged point so I'm going to follow it along while I'm talking to about the rest of the system. If we run along here you'll see we're about to discover a location so now we have a, this location here discovered. If we continue along towards our quest location, we're about to see that there is another type of quest marker here. So this one here highlights an area, and on the map we also see that. We look here, see areas, and these are the points of interest I was talking about. So if we get a couple more of them, you can see them on the compass as well. At this sort of zoom they don't show up, but at, at some point as we zoom in they will become visible. And as you zoom back out, they'll go away again. Those levels are configurable and the idea here is to allow your player to be able to find things without needing to have a really cluttered map. Down in the bottom right of the screen we have a mini map which operates very much like the world map. In fact it is an exact copy of the world map with its own settings allowing you to have say for instance landmarks visible on the uh, world map but not the mini map points of interest on the mini map but not the world map, however you would like to do it. Similarly you can remove items from the compass separately as well. If you notice here the compass actually turns green when we're in a quest area and it will turn red if you're near enemies. Those colours are configurable as well as the distances at which they have uh, come into effect. One additional thing I would like to demonstrate is that this map here is a 2K by 2K pixel image. However, as we zoom in, you'll notice that we don't really lose a lot of definition in the detail. That is because there is a system at play here where you can use a single image if that's how you wish to do it. Or you can use a grid of images. So if I just jump into my controller, I go to the world map manager and I scroll down and enable tier grid debug, you'll actually be able to see the grid and what it does. So at this zoom we're only using the one image. As we zoom in though you'll see that we get a grid of images. Now only the images that are in this zone will actually be loaded. So as this image goes off screen it's no longer loaded and as it comes back it'll load in again. This way you are able to get really high quality maps without using say 16k textures or something like that. And as we zoom in even further we'll get a smaller grid again. The levels at which this transition happens are completely configurable as well as how many images you're working with. So you can have a 2K image here and then a grid of 1K and then another grid of 1K down here if you like. And it's all pretty easy to use. However, if you just want a single image, you can use that. And you can settle up to use a capture from the engine if you would prefer or you can use art based images like this. Another strong focus of Quest Map Pro was to try and make sure everything was documented and easily readable. So you can see here in our compass manager everything is got commentation on it and all the functions are organized into private and public functions. They have function descriptions and they're all very clearly documented. Additionally to this there is a full wiki that goes over the features, integration as well as video versions of that and then detailed breakdowns of all the settings and features for each component. This wiki is very complete at launch, but it will be expanded with more useful tutorials, more use cases, and as the roadmap is fleshed out and features are added, they will also be added in here. 
This video has only really shown off some of the main features of Quest Map Pro. There is still a fast travel system, example HUD, and much, much more there. If you have any questions, I would recommend checking the documentation first. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to me via Discord, email, or the normal channels on the marketplace. Thank you very much for watching.